Hey everyone, this is Blenderman911 and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make realistic looking fire for your blender game. So the fire we're going to be making is going to look something like this. And I'll show you how to make it different colors too. Now these fires only consist of two faces so it's really good for the game engine. And the way we're going to be making these is we're going to create a particle system and with that particle system we're gonna create the the texture of the fire and then we're gonna render out some images and put those images into an animation map now the first thing we need to do obviously is create the particle system as you can see right here I have one that I made previously now if I render this out you can see that the fire right here is the same as this one right here so depending on how your particle system is it's gonna affect how your fire in the in the game engine is gonna look so if you want the same looking fire as me I suggest going to Nyan's channel I'm gonna put a link in the description so pause the video and click on that link and it'll bring you right here he has a four part tutorial on how to make realistic looking fire which is the same tutorial I followed to make the fire that I just showed you now you don't have to do all four parts I only did part one and two but on part four he shows you how to make ascending heat so you could put heat into your fire also if you would like so pause the video and do this one do this tutorial on how to make fire with the particle system if you don't want to do this one you could pick any other one but your fire might look different now once you have your particle system set up there are a few things that you need to make sure go to the world button and make sure your background is set to black go select your particle system and go to the to the object and particle tab Make sure the starting frame is negative 400 or something like that. End frame, just put it 400. Now also what you need to check is go to the scene tab. If you followed Nyan's tutorial, make sure do composite is selected because there are some nodes in there. And make sure the starting frame is 1, end frame 100. Uh, image format, make sure it's PNG size 256 by 256 pixels make sure 100 percent is selected OSA if you want you can put it all the way up for better quality but it doesn't really matter that much now what you need to do is on your desktop create a new folder to render all these images to it now click here and select that folder that you created so my, me, I created a folder named fire to render all the images there, so select it. Once you've done all that, you could go ahead and select animate. And it's going to render out all 100 frames. Now I'm not going to do that because I already rendered part of it. So once you have all 100 frames rendered, you need to either have GIMP or Photoshop. Now GIMP, you could just Google it and it's free and it's really useful so you could either use that or Photoshop now what we need to do is since we have 100 images which are 256 pixels by 256 we need to times that by 10 which is 2560 so go to file new and make sure it's 2560 by 2560 pixels hit OK now get your paint bucket tool and just fill in the background to black because it's a little easier to see that way now what we need to do is we need to import all the images into here so go to file open open as layers so that it opens as a layer on the background image and starting with frame 1 you need to work your way up all the way to frame 100 
Now I didn't render all the way to 100, I rendered to 20, but you'll get the idea. So pick frame 1, open, and what you need to do is grab it and place it all the way at the bottom right here. And then you need to do that with the next frame going from here, frame 1, to here, which is would be frame 10. So go to file, open. You could also open multiple images at a time if you want. Just hold down control and left click. So just get number two, open it. Oh, whoops. Forgot to open as layers. So open it and you need to place it right next to the other one. Now right now it's kind of hard to place it exactly there so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the grid on and we're going to make it so that the images could snap to the grid. So select your background image, go to image or go to view, show grid now go to view make sure snap to grid is selected now go to image configure grid and you could probably make the color white now since your background is black and for the width and height make it 256 by 256 and all of this leave it the default settings and make sure line style is solid then hit OK now if you select your image you can see that when you grab it it snaps to the grid so it's much easier to place it so now just grab each image and place them right next to each other Go to file, open as layers. You could open multiple images like I said. And now it snaps to there so it's much easier to place them. This shouldn't take more than five minutes or something. So you need to put all 100 images here. It needs to go from one, <clears throat> from one to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, etc., all the way to 100, which would be right here. Once you finish, go ahead and turn the grid off. Go to view, uncheck show grid, and save the image once you have all 100 images of your flame on here. And it should look something like this. When you're done, it should look something like this with all 100 of your fire images on here. Once you're done, save it as a PNG. Then go back into Blender. File New. Now go to Game. Make sure you're in Texture Face Materials. Hit Space, Add Mesh, Plane. Make sure you're in textured mode and split the viewport by hovering your mouse right here and right clicking split area. Change the second viewport to UV image editor. Now hit tab to go into edit mode. Hit U, unwrap. Now go to image, open and open the image that you just made, which is this one. Then go to View, Real-Time Properties, make sure Animate is selected, Starting Frame 0, End Frame, one, uh, end frame 99, Speed 20, you could put it higher if you want, but I find that Speed 20 is the best, and Tiles, don't select Tiles, but make Tiles X 10, and Y 10. As you can see right here, when I did Tiles Y, it didn't update it. So if you select this and grab the lamp and then hit control Z, it will update it. So I will continue in part two because I'm out of time.